ये वर्ल्ड है ना वर्ल्ड इसमें दो तरह के लोग होते हैं एक जो सारी जिंदगी एक ही काम करते रहते हैं और दूसरे जो एक ही जिंदगी में सारे काम कर देते हैं ये मैं नहीं ये वो दोनों कहते थे और कहते क्या थे करते थे और ऐसा करते थे जैसा ना किसी ने किया और ना शायद कोई कर पाएगा Good morning. It is twenty fourth November, and we are off to a new destination, and also on a sojourn. We are calling it a southern sojourn, and I think in a southern sojourn plan, the first uh, destination is Mahabalipuram. Uh, it's close to six now. Uh, we are off to cover a distance of seven forty four kilometer in around thirteen hours. Uh, as per Google, the ETA is seven uh, pm. So let's see. We are an hour late, um, but let's see how much we can cover and what time we reach. So hope you will enjoy this journey with us. Uh, stay with us. Crossing the first toll gate. Getting on to Orar. Getting on to Orar. As we leave uh, our favorite city, Hyderabad, the city is slowly waking up. The road for today would be um, Hyderabad to Kurnool. Um, so we take NH forty four uh, right from Samshabad. Uh, then from Kurnool we take a left towards Kadapa. So Kadapa is where we actually cross the Nallamalla forest. Uh, post Kadapa we go further. down south uh, into uh, renigunta uh, renigunta is basically tirupati uh, or tirumala nearest city is renigunta from renigunta we cross over from andhra pradesh into tamil nadu uh, we enter uh, kanjivaram uh, kanjivaram sells is very renowned so you will buy me a saree let's see and then okay we will uh go further down south towards chennai we will not enter chennai we will take the bypass from chennai towards mahabalipuram now this property is not exactly in mahabalipuram it's pretty much like 10 15 km ahead of mahabalipuram so uh, we'll we'll take that road so that's the road for today छोटे छोटे शहरों से खाली बोर दोपहरों से हम तो झोला उठा के चले बारिश कम कम लगती है नदियां मध्यम लगती है हम समंदर के अंदर चले सो इट्स सेवन थर्टी एम एंड वी हैव बीन ऑन द रोड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ लिटिल मोर देन वन एंड हाफ आवर्स time for breakfast break we actually thought of having our breakfast at food pyramid but then we suddenly spotted uh, this place it's called blue box uh, food court 
uh, I'm going to give you a quick view of the of the place. So it looks uh, nice. So let's go inside and check it out. Good job. Breakfast break also means washroom break. <laughs> so the two kiddos, the human kiddo and the pet kiddos, are going for their respective washroom break. So we stopped for a breakfast. Uh, I think the name of the this is a food court. There are a lot of options in this food court. I mean, there is a restaurant over there. We don't know what uh, you so, so get. We took from Minerva Coffee Shop. Yeah, we we had our breakfast from Minerva Coffee Shop. This one, as you can see here. Minerva is pretty renowned in Hyderabad, by the way. Yeah, and then there are some handloom stores. So we yeah. so you have some options, and this place looks pretty clean and crowded. So the breakfast is good. How is the breakfast? We just went opted for idli and vada. That's usually our usuals uh, when we are on the road and having breakfast. It's good. And the chutneys are also very good. Mm, the options for chutneys are really good. This yeah. one is a um, tamarind and ginger chutney. <laughs> Which one? How is the washroom? It's clean. It's clean. Mm. So I need to still check the women's washroom, but uh, the men's washroom seem to be clean. How far it is from Hyderabad? 90, 100 kilometers. Oh, 90, 90 km. So it's 8.30. We have covered 100 kilometers since the start time. We are 120 kilometers away from Kurnool, which is our uh, first milestone. And uh, it's still showing 11 hours, 40 minutes for us to reach. So that's a quick update on how we are faring so far. Um, we actually took one hour break for breakfast. Usually we always take the breakfast break uh, for 20, 25 minutes. But today uh, we also have Angel with us. And that's why it took a little bit more time for Angel also to have food. Anyways, let's see uh, how much we can cover and when we reach. Uh, but we don't want to fret about it. There's no point. Let's enjoy the journey. And um, let's not let's not take the stress. Samrat is taking a little bit of stress in terms of the ETA. I'm saying that, you know, drive comfortably. Enjoy the drive and don't panic or don't take stress. So, yeah. We are entering happy now. Uh, I don't know why, what border security force was doing here, but they were actually uh, checking a vehicle. A vehicle filled with people. Oh, yes, this is the election time. No, that's why they were checking. But it looked like a family vehicle. Huh. I'm not sure why they were checking. Anyways, so how many states we are going to cross today? Three states. Three. Which are those three states? We are not going to cross three states, but we will go through three states. We will actually cross one completely, that is Andhra Pradesh. So we are yet to enter Andhra Pradesh actually. Just entering. So which are those states? Andhra Pradesh? Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Krishna River. It's pretty strange that the riverbed is so dry kadappa ye kadappa left now we're going to take a left from here from where uh, right now here see there's a boats showing kadappa to the left tirupati towards the left and bangalore towards the right so we're going to take this left and it's a toll road so this is nh40 that we are national getting up national highway 40. 40 yes so we were earlier on National 44. Highway 44. This one, the one that goes straight is 44. Now we have taken a diversion from that. We have taken left. We are going on to NH40. This is NH40. बारिश कम कम लगती है नदियां मध्यम लगती है हम समंदर के अंदर चले ओहो हो हम चले सो इट्स 12:30 नाउ एंड वी हैव कवर्ड 380 किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम हैदराबाद अनदर 360 किलोमीटर्स टू कवर 
the ETA is still uh, around 8, 8, 15. Let's see. But we are super hungry. Our next milestone, so our first milestone was Kurnul. Our second milestone is Karapa, which is 40 kilometer away. <laughs> Hello, vlogger Ashish Hegde's video. Okay. Um, and um, surprisingly, this looked to be one of the good options, at least in the area. Which is the restaurant we we just stood outside the restaurant and we took a call that we Andra cannot... Spice and okay, Kitchen. Okay, so we yeah, so Andra Spice Kitchen is another restaurant which we were attempting to you know probably have lunch from, but we didn't quite uh, like the look and feel of the restaurant from outside and hence we opted out uh, again we didn't go inside we didn't try the food so we don't know but we just didn't like the look and feel this one looked airy uh, this you know i can see a lot Our of people coming food. here so okay. it gave me a lot of gave us a lot of satisfaction that probably this is a better place so we uh, usually when whenever we travel we eat very light so what you see right now is our lunch for today that's rice dal and french fries so it's around uh, 150 i think we took a 30 minutes break for yeah. lunch so we took a 30 minutes break for lunch uh, <clears throat> lunch was good i mean the food was tasty um, but it was very spicy um, that's the only thing otherwise it was tasty um, washrooms men's washroom like i said it's okay uh, for women also the washroom is I would say okay I mean could have been better but and I, I, I saw that they actually have staff who, who, who is cleaning the washrooms which is which is good it's just that people who are using it are obviously uh, not doing justice so as usual I mean that's always the problem so uh, whichever place has enough staff to kind of keep cleaning the washrooms uh, they would have better washrooms but still i would say this is much better than what we usually encounter on the road what is the name of the temple we saw Sri Kun Kunanda, Kunanda Ramaswami. Ramaswami. Pari temple it's actually Beaut beautiful it's, beautiful it looks temple. like very old temple by the way yeah it looks Isn't like it? very old temple yeah 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 of mm -hmm. course Maybe this beautiful. is a flagship temple of this Kari, place. Kari, Kari, see, it's lovely. It's actually lovely. It's actually lovely. Yeah. It's nice. Wow. It's, it's indeed an old temple. Nice. Wow, this is really nice. Ah, beautiful temple. <laughs> covered 500 kilometers we have covered 500 kilometers uh, so far and have been on the road for nine hours now another five hours to go before we reach Mahabs another 230 plus kilometers to cover so the ETA is 830 now uh, one of the reason being that uh, this stretch of road that is from Karappa to Tirupati on uh, state highway or national highway? State highway, national highway 716. Okay, national highway 716 uh, is, is... Sometimes it, it becomes state highway, sometimes it shows as national highway. Very weird. There are so many trucks on this road. So why there are so many trucks on this road? Every two minutes I think there are 10 trucks. Huh? Mm. Why there are so many trucks on this road? We have to post it to the 
Ministry of State uh, Transport. Why what? are there so many trucks? No, but on a serious note, why there are so many trucks on this road at this time of the day? Yeah, probably because this is a there is a busy road in terms of connectivity to Chennai. Or between but this, Gadapa this is Dhrubati. not the most commonly uh, yeah, from this side it is the most common so if you go to, from Gadapa to Tirupati this is the only road, road that you have no, so that is the thing so why I mean how come there are so probably many trucks going forest. from Gadapa to Tirupati probably, probably in the daytime of, probably because of the uh, forest area there is only one road that has been made there is no other roads so it's not that there are too many trucks but it is all the trucks on the same road see on top of that there are monkeys langurs cattle coming on this road nothing's friends you better you better keep a check on your speed huh? <laughs> women yeah, so you have to go to tirumala you need to go to tirumala you have to go uh, take the road behind um, it's a beautiful road Behind from where? Um, from which point? The uh, we just crossed that. It's like uh, 20, 25 meters behind us, and that on uh, this stretch of road, on, on this, on this road highway. itself, yes. And that is, and 31 kilometers um, uh, away is Tirumala Hills, Tiru, Tirumala Tirumala Temple. Um, so yes, uh, that's where a lot of pilgrims go, uh, and probably one of the reasons why. Uh, there's there's a lot of private vehicles on this road is because of Tirupati uh, Tirupati Tirumala. Um, yeah. So yes, that's to be noted. So it's 4:30 p.m. Um, we are right now crossing Tirupati. Crossing Tirupati and 178 kilometer away from Mahabs. So. Expected muffin view of the Indian sorry. road <laughs> and muffin crossing the road. Yes. That was you in the first. So yeah. Do whatever for so you are accepting that the smaller one is you. No. So driving through the rain. I mean, initially it was drizzling, but it's quite a downpour now. Uh, visibility has decreased a little bit when I was celebrating that this highway again as a separator and this, the single lane has gone again became a single lane and again that became a double uh, finally because it was a bummer I mean you it's raining it's a highway it's raining and then it's a single lane so it, it was a bummer what is this the, by the, the way? What have... is this on the left side? There are some lots and lots of a small plot, pillars. Plot, 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 plot. Oh, okay. Plot. Okay. Be very careful because it looks like the road has a lot of bends. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So what is the next milestone after uh, Tirupati? Next milestone after Tirupati? Yeah. Kanji, Kanjipuram. Kanjipuram. And how far is that from here? Uh, how far is it from here? Hmm. between Karappa to Tirupati. Is it? Yeah. Almost, yeah. We left Karappa uh, at around 2 o'clock and we reached, I mean, we are almost like, we are bypassing Tirupati. I mean, finally we are out of that uh, Tirupati uh, stretch, right? And it's almost 5 o'clock. Uh, well, 15 minutes short of 5 o'clock. So, like 2 hours, 45 minutes if I may say. So, I think that is, that is probably the longest stretch and the rain has stopped. Thank God. I think 
look at this particular mm -hmm. hilly range. So one thing is guaranteed on this stretch of road that you the the pain that you are enduring in terms of uh, driving down through this uh, one lane road and uh, you know kind of enduring so many trucks uh, taking uh, I mean, giving more time to reach your destination so all the pain that you're enduring i think it is worth the pain when you get to experience this view or gift from nature this one is specifically for barish and chai my chai is done mama is still on with uh, her chai and uh, look at the beautiful surroundings Wee. Okay, so it's around 5.20 and uh, we are uh, 120 kilometers away from Mahavs, right? Yeah, no. We are around 120 kilometers away from Mahavs. Uh, we took a 20 minutes tea break in between as you saw. Um, <clears throat> forgot to tell you the name of the tea shop. So it's Mr. Mr. Chai. Mr. Chai. But let me tell you, uh, in I this stretch... In this Very, stretch, in this in this stretch, uh, we actually uh, have seen uh, quite a lot of uh, tea and coffee joints or cafe joints actually, and it's not even five thirty, and it's looking like seven because it's cloudy, so it's going to be dark soon. These rocks are basically reminding me of our. Uh, road trip to Hampi. If you remember, we, we witnessed similar kind of rocky hills or these kind of carvings out of the hills or rocks. If you visit our uh, vlog on Hyderabad to Hampi, you will really enjoy the video because that road trip was equally, uh, I mean, uh, beautiful. And we were encapsulated by the view that we witnessed in, in that road trip as well. It was nature at its best, as always. RTO check this is post. Tamil Nadu, RTO check post. Tiruttani. So we are entering TN. Tamil Nadu. Mm. Okay. So we are entering. We are entering the end. So this is Tamil Nadu. Uh, Tiruttani. Tiruttani check post. Tiruttani check post. Okay. But no checking. Only no, we are officially post. in Tamil Nadu. Nadu. So we have crossed over AP. Started from Telangana, crossed over AP, now into Tamil Nadu. Okay, and it is Chennai 540. is about 80 kilometers from here. Hmm. And. Look uh, at this car. Our. Uh, uh, resort is about 110 kilometers. So why is it from here? Yes. So why two hours from here. So 640, 740. <laughs> So it's uh, 6.20 pm and I don't think we have made much progress in the last 20 minutes because of uh, heavy duty traffic on this road. I think the ETA is now 9. No. Yep. Any 
15 and we are uh, almost there five minutes away from the property it's been uh, almost 14 and a half hours of journey today that we made from Hyderabad to Mahabalipuram or Mahab. Um, we took a total break of about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours which included breakfast, lunch and two tea breaks and some washroom breaks for uh, the men and the dog. I took uh, two washroom breaks so far. Um, you must have seen the places that we recommended. I hope that helped you where you can have your food and uh, washroom breaks. Uh, so I think the total travel time will be around 12 hours. And um, the roads are pretty good. Barring few instances which you have figured out. This is one option you would see the route at the end of our uh, towards the end of our vlog where we will uh, share with you the route that we took you can either choose this route or there is another alternate route uh, that you can opt for uh, we told you the pros and cons of the route that we took and you can take your pick according to what you want to achieve from this but more importantly it's a wonderful uh, stretch of road we had a great time as a family traveling yes it was a bit longer probably a bit longer than others because we have a kid and a dog and we had to take multiple breaks but never mind every journey is unique and so are the memories so we had a great time now we are very tired and super hungry so can't just wait to reach our property and then have dinner and call it a day until then bye bye